You, of course, ran for vice president uh, with the Green Party in 2016. I want to know your thoughts on electoralism in general, but also we have some recent news, which is that Cornell West has uh, announced he'll be running for president uh, with the uh, People's Party. What are your thoughts on this news? Well, uh, you know, I believe in expanding democracy, uh, even though we have a, a, a bourgeois democracy in the U.S., uh, the only way that one can uh, help to develop the kind of, of pro-democratic de movement that we need uh, is to take advantage of what already exists. So, um, you know, Cornell uh, attempting to develop this, this party and, and running, um, you know, I, I can't be opposed to that because I know the kinds of issues that, that he will, in fact, raise. He will raise the issues of peace. Um, he will raise issues related to uh, the, the continued grinding poverty we have uh, in this country. And so, you know, his, his voice and the issues he will raise, I think, can be a positive contribution to the national discourse that we have to have. Some people criticize him for not running as a Democrat. And that that seems to be they, they, don't, they don't understand Cornell's politics in terms of of where he believes the country is and and the complete capture of the of the Democratic Party uh, by the the neoliberal right uh, uh, finance capital. Uh, and so the only way and we, and we all see we've been talking about uh, the, the 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 constrained spaces we have now for democratic discourse. So the only way you deal with that is to try to open it up uh, so that we can op try to expand it again a little bit and try to maintain it for as long as we can, because many of us believe, I believe, that uh, the, the cutting edge of fascism in the U.S. is not just the, 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 the Trumpians and, and those elements as dangerous as they are. To me, the cutting edge of a particular kind of U.S. fascism is, in fact, the, the, the elements that control the Democratic Party, the neoliberal elements that control the Democrat Party. They are the ones that are developing a particular kind of, of fascism that people don't even seem to be able to recognize. So I think having Cornell uh, as part of that discourse, part of that conversation, I think will be helpful. Does Cornell West have your vote? Are you making an official endorsement? I'm not going to endorse anybody yet. I mean, it, it's, um, you know, uh, I want to see a vigorous sort of debate I think the electoral process is one in which radicals uh, can contest if you have no illusions about its limitations, because right. what we are trying to do is get access to the public. So, uh, and to raise the, uh, the the level of visibility on certain issues, to raise and transform consciousness, leading to a more effective organization and opposition. So that's why, and so I have no illusions beyond, no, I, no, I have no faith beyond that in this limited thing that they call democracy uh, in the United States uh, of America. Right. And what did you learn uh, through your run uh, in 2016 with the Green Party? That uh, politics in the U.S. is even more corrupt than I thought, uh, that the Democrat Party is a gangster uh, party, because uh, they are the ones that led the, the fight uh, against us. They then turned around and led the fight to undermine the Harry Hawkins campaign in 2020, including getting uh, Hawkins thrown off the ballot in a few states, uh, that these people are not committed to, to democracy at all, that they are moral hypocrites, and that basically if you're not prepared to get into this thing and fight and, and have to get down in the mud with some of these folks, then don't don't even play with it, because these folks are, are, are mud fighters, and they fight to win.